So Beth is here breaking down the Golden Globes Yay. fashion. And, and let's get to the pictures because this is the exciting part. Oh, we had so much fun. My favorite, Alicia Vikander. Look at this Louis Vuitton. Mm. Oh, my gosh. So ravishing. And, you know, I don't think this picture even does it justice because when she turns, it was kind of seamless on the side. Mm. And all of the, um, the inlays within the dress were all sheer. So when she oh, walked, wow. it had this sparkle and then this kind of sheerness to it. Absolutely, just elegant and, and mm -hmm. pretty, and it wasn't over the top. Loved Jamie Alexander's. Oh my gosh, this is the one I was talking to you about that was Jenny with a G from this new Italian designer. Um, again, I don't think the picture does it justice because when she walked up to talk to Ryan Seacrest, she was glistening. She had the pockets, and then when she did the spin on the big, um, with their, their glam, yeah. you know, what was it called? Mm -hmm. Their, you know, their big glam camera. So amazing. She just Lots of beautiful, um, beautiful shine to this dress. And, of course, I love the pockets. Um, Brie Larson was wearing this Calvin Klein. I don't think anything says awards like gold. Yeah, she looks like <laughs> we She's listening. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. And you expect to see something like this, certainly, mm -hmm. at least worn by one, right? That would, yeah. be, that would definitely be, like, kind of the, the staple if you're going to wear something to an awards ceremony. And I think another one of the big predictions is we were not going to see a lot of skin. You know, we've been seeing a lot yeah. of skin at these award shows. And this is probably the most, besides the plunging necklines, um, as far as skin goes, that we really saw. Mm -hmm. So we, people really kept it classy this year. Um, and another of this, like um, another gold uh, by Rosie Huntington Whiteley. This is Yves Saint Laurent. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Um, this one caught my eye. She was probably one of the first, I don't know, ten to arrive. And when she went out there, people kind of stopped when she walked out because this gold just flowed and it had a train in the back and. It was, I mean, it was just beautiful. It is. Beautiful. All right, so Kate Hudson, she, she definitely showed some skin. It's hard to tell in this picture as well. These pictures are hard to see. Right. I gotta tell all you, I thought it looked a little mermaid esque. <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Yes. Um, she has kind of the mermaid scales going on, and of course, the, uh, the two pieces. And Kate Hudson, of course, is never afraid to show some skin. So she really looked ravishing, mm -hmm. and um, just she pulled it off, and it, it was a nude tone, this blush. Um, so not something everybody could pull, certainly get away with, mm -hmm. but it looked amazing on her, and she wore it, and she wore it proud. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what. Now here's some ruffles. Okay, so Zendaya. Yeah, but you like this. I love it, and I'm not usually a huge fan of um, giant ruffles. But I love Marquesa, and Zendaya wore this amazing Marquesa gown, had the plunging neckline, which is, again, a huge trend. And I think because she's so super yes. tiny. Yeah. She's so skinny. That's why she was able to pull it off. Yeah, She, she could, still looks very thin here. Look at her. She looks so super beautiful and tiny. But that Mar and Marquesa is one of my personal favorite designers. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure whoever was her stylist, like, busted their booty to get that dress <laughs> off the runway because that was that's a beauty yeah, gorgeous right. okay so kate bosworth one of the most talked about of the night absolutely glistening i mean this is dolce and gabbana this whole entire thing is crystals it's crystals i mean crystals wow. from top to bottom and it's ro it's again the picture very difficult to see but she was sparkling this is such an award dress like this is like what you wear to an award show yeah. Pure, just yeah, pure yeah, beauty. Yeah, really. Olivia Wilde, Michael Kors. Yeah, pretty. I mean, and Kirsten Dunst also in Valentino. Yes, we have Kirsten Dunst. Yeah, Kirsten yeah, Dunst no looked neckline. amazing. Yeah. And um, that was, again, another plunging neckline. And the whole back, it's actually backless as well. And um, okay. Now you didn't like JLo. She was you on my like controversial list. Um, she called this marigold. And depending on your screen color here, I saw it on, the, uh, on my screen and it would look like mustard. It did not I look still like, like, like it. You like it? I think I like Jennifer. I think because she looks fierce in it to me. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, say something. You can say that. I like the, okay, I like the cape. I like the yeah, cape. Yeah, the cape was cool. All right, I didn't like this one either, and I love Zach Posen, um, one of my favorite designers. I just think it looks like an old school prom dress. Mm. I don't yeah. know, right? Yeah, I agree. Like, like bridesmaid? Yeah. Like, yeah. And now you were mentioning Amy Schumer next. There I she mean, is. no, no jewelry. I mean, yeah, and wearing black and white, she could have used a little sparkle to dress it up. I think, think yeah, something. she definitely needed to. I loved Wiz Khalifa's look, too. I mean, come on. I mean, he just looks awesome. He's rad. Anyways, I love him with his white tie and just, like, look at Kumasi's like, I don't know about him. I mean, 
Uh, doesn't look very dressed up. I don't know. Oh I, I must God, be old-fashioned. And what about Katy Perry? I thought you looked... Oh, we missed oh, Katy, Katy Perry. Perry. She was my hottest mess. Um, oh, she was my hottest mess. Did okay, she, she had a Prada dress. It was pink, and it looked like her grandmother stitched it up with a giant pink bow in the back. It, and... Um, it was yeah. ugly, the, the, and oh, then she was that very... That color doesn't work for her, no. I think. She was probably talking about her, as seen on TV, bump it as well in her hair. Oh, no, <laughs> she was put the bump it. Oh, she did the bump it. She did the bump it, she did the hair, and then I don't know what this is. I, I don't even have any words for this, but this was my also my hot mess. What is that? Is it pants? I, Are those pants? I think it's a mix between a cape and a pant. I don't... Oh. Really, no. But it was bad. That was my worst in Katy Perry. And, you know, okay, now, Rachel Bloom, I, I wasn't thrilled with this, and I couldn't actually find the name of the designer, but I will tell you that I think this could have worked for her with the color, mm. but I feel like the top ruffle was way too small. Yeah. Like, it just made her so it look... makes her look... Yeah. Tiny up yeah. here. Like, mm. if she had something... That, like, I love the neckline, but I felt like the, 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 the top part should have definitely been larger, or we should have had something more accented, or maybe even a necklace. I think worked. we're going to have to talk to her stylist, Bev. I know. I, I can go over there. <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm available. This is so much Thank fun. You, Thank you, Bev. Thank you I love you guys. Now. Thank you. <laughs> and you can always see Best Style Tips on Sundays in Fashion Forward. Mm -hmm. And if you want a full list of the Golden Globe winners and losers, just look under the entertainment section of newsforjax.com.